think back season one and all the stuff you had to go through with Zion and the hurricane and all that. How'd you kind of get through all that? You know, it's, it, was, it, was, it's, it was an opportunity to, you know, continue to dive into my faith and believing that we can continue to improve as a team. And anytime you face adversity, it's, it's also an, an opportunity in that. And that's how we looked at it as, as a team, as an organization. Was Zion upgraded today, and how did he look in practice? He did practice today. He went through a full practice. He looked fine. Um, we'll keep evaluating him after today and see how he feels. Uh, it seemed like in the preseason, um, you know, he's getting the ball a lot of handoffs and just getting the ball. I mean, how does that make him, you know, even more difficult to stop when he gets the ball and he's just in motion kind of? Yeah, like you said, he he can catch the ball a number of ways. He can, you know, attack off the dribble. Uh, we get him on the move a little bit where he's, he's already going downhill and he's so fast and, and dynamic and strong, it's hard to get back in front of him even when guys try to go under screens. And then there's ways we can just get him the ball in certain spots where he has a live dribble. So it's uh it's a, it's unique to have a guy like like Z, but Brandon is like that, CJ is like that, and just can continue to work through. You you, you like you know a guy that that big move that quickly like is it still amazing to you? Or is it just like I've seen this so much that it's like no, it's it's still amazing. Um, every time you see him, the way he moves and the way he can score on the floor. You know, I try not to get bored with that. <laughs> you guys, you guys have obviously. I mean, a very dynamic starting group. With CJ, Brandon, Z, and JV, is that a situation where I know you got depth issues? Would you like to keep maybe two of them on the floor at the same time? And because of the way these lineups are, kind of benefits that. Yeah, we talked about it. It's definitely something that we will explore more. Is seeing if we can keep two guys, two of the four on the floor at all times. But you know, the game will dictate dictate a lot of that for us. So we'll, we'll see when we get in those scenarios. You guys haven't had a ton of time with the, the main guys all healthy at the same time. Yeah. How have you progressed as far as just getting chemistry with that group leading into the opener? Just continue to do what we do, um, run our offense, or make sure we're sound defensively. If guys are in, or not, in and out with, with injuries, it's like it's not much we can do about it, but other guys are ready to step in and fulfill those roles as best we can. And, um, you know, it looks like we'll be pretty whole – you know, somewhat whole when we, when we get to Brooklyn and we'll go from there. you learned much about this group since day one of training camp? I have. I, I learned that we're, we're really competitive. Um, we're hungry to continue to get better, all of us. And um, going back last year and even this year, I think this is a team that knows how to o overcome adversity. And so we, were, we, we are all relentless in our approach. Coming into the this season, our off-season work, the way we practice, the way we watch film, and we just want to continue to build from there. So a, a lot to learn with this group. Well, what have you learned about yourself from last year to this year? <laughs> you know, I'm still learning a lot. Um, as you navigate being a, a coach and serving and trying to maximize guys' platform in the NBA, it's a lot to learn from that. And the, the biggest thing is continue, for me to continue to trust in God um, continue to listen to our players, and this is really a partnership. You say you, you think that you expect to be mostly whole for, for Brooklyn. Is that maybe just no Jackson, no Tyra? We'll see. I mean, those guys are, definitely won't play, but, you know, once we get there, we'll see who else is available. When you think about this time last year, just how much more gratifying is it to get this season started and some of these account to these expectations we've been talking about since media day? Last year was gratifying as well. Um, you know, it was an experience that we all needed to go through. We went through it together, and we came out better, a better group for it. Uh, this year, I feel like we're, we're a step ahead of where we were last season, but we still got a lot of work to do. Um, our guys know and understand we haven't accomplished what we want to accomplish yet. Uh, because of it, we're going to continue to keep our heads down, continue to work, and stay connected. Uh, when the look at this Brooklyn team, just kind of what stands out to you? Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, um, <laughs> two guys that can score anytime, anywhere. We, we, we have to do a good job on them. And then the other guys are good compliments to what they do. Uh, Patty Mills and Royce O'Neal and Claxton screening and diving. So this is a, a team that, you know, can, can put points on you in a hurry. We got to come in with sound defensively, 
and then offensively, we got to make them work. And the news came out yesterday about EJ signing his deal. Uh, just how has he been, been progressing so far after that tough injury? He's getting better and better. Still a long road ahead. Um, but he's coming in every day. Still has a smile on his face. I'm happy to get him signed. And, you know, our guys have done a great job with him. Our, our medical group is doing a, a fantastic job. So he's on target, but still a long ways to go. And even though he's earned how much value is it just to have him around these guys and just to see what it's like to be around this group? I think it's a ton of value in being able to observe what the NBA life is like. You know, um, it's different than college. You know, college, your whole day is filled, and now most of his day is rehab and watching his teammates. And uh, we try to do a good job of continuing to check in on him and make sure mentally he's in the right space. When you look at the opportunity you have, what this team provides you to work with, and realize you were one in 13 not that long ago, do you kind of marvel at how far you all have come in a short period of time? I'm definitely grateful um, for the opportunity. Uh, Ms. Benson, Dennis, Griff, Trajan, Swin, our whole uh, management team. I'm grateful for our players. I'm grateful for the experience that we all went through last season. I think it made us tougher. It made us more connected. Like I said before, now we got more work in front of us. Um, there's some expectation. I think that's a good thing. I think it means that we have a chance to be a good team. Those expectations aren't higher than our own. So every day we walk in, we try to hold ourselves to that type of standard. And uh, we want to give ourselves the opportunity to win, win at a high level, and have